This week, Dr. Anthony Fauci said federal health officials are already talking about a plan for the fall if we do see another COVID surge. So here to answer your questions this evening is Dr. Simone Wilds, an infectious disease specialist at South Shore Health. Dr. Wilds, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. So let's start with that planning that Marie was just talking about. What kind of strategies do you think Dr. Fauci and his team are looking at? So it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like the country would embrace another lockdown. Are we going to have to get a little more creative here? Mm. Um, and um, really uh, important that Dr. Fauci and the rest of the team are planning ahead and being proactive in terms of preparing just in case we have a surge in the fall. Definitely people would not want to go to another lockdown, but I think that if things get really extreme, I'm sure we'll have to utilize it. But I think the strategies that they're really going to focus on is making sure that we have the right booster match, making sure there's enough testing, um, we have enough supplies like PPE, um, and also making sure we have adequate medication, the antiviral therapies and the monoclonals. I'm sure there's a whole laundry list, but these I'm sure is going to be really high. And Doctor, part of what figures into that has to be the potential of another new variant Every year, the flu shot, it's a different mix, as we know, to tackle different strains. Sometimes it's effective, sometimes it's not as effective. So do you think that that's where we're headed with these COVID boosters as well? Maria, I think this is an ongoing question that um, will be asked, especially comparing the flu and the um, COVID um, vaccine. Um, right now, they're still assessing the data to see what's going to be the best fit. But I think I feel that the recommendations will be to give us the best coverage to protect us as we go through um, another fall season with COVID and the flu. Well, uh, Dr. Wells, you just mentioned the flu. Speaking of the flu, it feels like we're getting through this season relatively unscathed. And some scientists now theorize that might be because of COVID. So what's your take on this? Right. Could concerns about a twin demic have actually been overblown? Well, you know, I must say the trendemic has been something we talked about quite a bit before we got into the fall. And um, there are a number of theories that said maybe it's because we were wearing masks, washing our hands, social distancing, and all the pandemic restrictions. But there's also another theory that, you know, because COVID was so rampant, it prevented other viruses from surviving. Mm -hmm. They call that viral interference. Yep. I think, you know, the key thing is that, you know, we just have to be vigilant with our surveillance and make sure we don't miss anything. Here's an interesting question from one of our viewers. If we have too many boosters of the COVID vaccine, could our bodies get to a point where we wouldn't respond like if you have too many antibiotics? Um, you know, really great question. I'm sure others are thinking about this. I think the simple answer to that question is no. Um, vaccines and boosters work very different. I will say that the booster is used to increase your immune response and they usually wane, which means they decrease over time. Antibiotics, on the other hand, used to treat an infection. Mm -hmm. And if you have too much antibiotics, then you develop resistance and mm -hmm. they don't work as well. Mm -hmm. So two very different um, that's a, outlooks. That's, that's a great distinction, Dr. Wiles. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Great to see you. Stay well, right. doctor. Thank Take you.